What do I enjoy most about teaching? I think um, arguing with the students. Um, particularly at UCL, they're a very bright lot and quite argumentative. What I enjoy most about teaching? Well, it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's just seeing the students getting what I'm talking about is, is great. <laughs> Particularly for me, I enjoy the, um, the combination that I get during the week of, of part-time practice uh, and part-time academia. Um, and I think it's that interaction between the two that certainly uh, keeps me fresh and, and still gives me a challenge every day that I come into the Eastman. I'm in a very lucky position uh, because teaching, teaching means really learning, learning as well. So make sure you've got a good grasp of those and they're up on the Moodle site as well. So if you just go onto the lecture site. They're all turning that class in the session, yeah. They're all turning that. Just activate these categories and they change behaviour. Feel your cornea bulge moving beneath your eyelids. You can track people's eyes when their eyes are closed. Really, quite obvious. Can you see mine bulge? <laughs> really disgusting. You can't really engage yourself if what you're doing is struggling to take down notes all the time. And I found out it was very easy, technologically speaking, just to press one button on my, my laptop and have it record what I was saying. And then at the end of the lecture, it, it turns this into a video podcast. So you get a movie of what was on the, the screen and the soundtrack along with it. And what it means is they can put their pens down a little bit and argue and discuss things, knowing that all this information is going to be there if they need it later. When I was preparing this course, I came across this study that discussed um, naive realism, which is this feeling that people have. Um, essentially, there's a mistake that we make in our social cognition. We think our own subjective facts and opinions are actually objectively true. So I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to teach a course that from the ground up try to give people experience of these own biases, of these own influences at work in their own behaviour. So that's what uh, motivated me to, in pretty much every lesson, to include some sort of demonstration where the students um, display this behaviour. They're part of an experiment, not a well-controlled one, but they make a response, they do a behaviour, and we collect data in class, and we see, literally in front of them on the lecture screen, how their response is tallied up. And then we discuss, and we figure out why they behaved in this way. They give me their deliberate, thoughtful reasons why they did, and I explain actually why they did behave in this way. If that was irrelevant, then we would expect to get a... Stop it! <laughs> so it's to really bring home and make a virtue out of the fact that they are the guinea pig and the scientist at the same time. I qualified now 25 years ago, I came to the Eastman about 20 years ago to do all my own specialist training uh, and I went up a, a sort of teaching pathway. I think the success of our programmes really hinge around the staff um, that we have. We, we now have about 120 who contribute uh, to our programmes. Most of them are in practice part of the week and therefore they're able to bring a wide range of skills uh, to the courses. Because the, uh, the nature of particularly what this unit does is so heavily related to patient care and improving patient standards, it's important that our staff have experience of, of the real world and the practice setting. Uh, and therefore, uh, as director of the unit, I think it is important that we do have somebody uh, at the helm who is in practice as well. And so I, send, I spend three days of my week in, in specialist practice in central London um, and two days a week here. Um, but both are almost full-time jobs, I think. So if we could help you to introduce this sort of thing into your practice yeah, environment, that would be a big yeah. help to you. So it's something quite simple. What I think is important to note and, and where um, the, the staff particularly uh, and I feel very good about what we're able to do is the, the national and the international impact uh, of the training is delivered uh, and as a result the direct uh, impact on, on patient care and, and patient safety. Uh -huh.